Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix WhatsApp initializing problem. So if you guys are having the same problem right now, then just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. So the first thing you need to do guys is quit WhatsApp. Once you quit WhatsApp, just go and search for settings on your phone. And once you find settings, just scroll down and search for applications. And as you can see guys, here we found applications, just click. And then as you can see guys here, you can find all of the applications installed on your phone. So what you need to do guys is just scroll down and search for WhatsApp. So it's gonna be in the bottom, I think because it starts with W. So let's go to the bottom and here it is. Once you find WhatsApp, just click. And then as you can see guys, now, we are on the settings of this application. So from here, you can change all of the settings related to this application. So the first thing that you need to do guys is go to notifications. Once you're here in notifications, make sure allow notification is enabled and under it, you're gonna find allow sound and vibration. Make sure it's enabled too. And also enable lock screen and badge and pop-up. Once you enable all of the things, just go back and then go to permission. Make sure you give WhatsApp all of the permissions and then go back and go down to storage. And once you are here in storage, you're going to find clear data and also clear cache. So what you need to do guys is just click on clear cache. And once you clear your cache, just go back and quit the application. Once you quit settings, just go back to WhatsApp to see if your problem is fixed. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.